Hey guys, so I wanted to record a quick video to share with you a tool that I came across called uh, Fool Enrich. So this is a contact enrichment tool very similar to other ones like Hunter.io, Find Email, Snow.io, Drop Contact. Uh, it essentially helps you find the emails and phone numbers uh, of the people you want to contact. But the main difference with this tool is that it does what they call a waterfall enrichment. What this means is that it searches for the email of a person across multiple data sources. And they have a cool animation down here to show this. So uh, you give it a first name, a last name, and the domain, the company domain of a person, and then it will try and, and find their email in one tool, in one data source. If it can't find it, then it will move on to the next one. If it can't find it, it will move down to the next one and so on. And it does this for um, what they claim is 15 premium vendors. So the key benefits here are, number one, you get to find more emails and phone numbers. And number two, you don't need to have a subscription with multiple vendors. Full and Rich has those subscriptions uh, behind the scenes. They probably pay for credits in bulk, uh, which decreases their cost. Um, and you get to pay a single monthly fee, which is actually very similar to what you would pay uh, for an individual vendor. Um, and yeah, it's $29 per month for 500 credits, which equals 500 emails or 50 phone numbers. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that, that's the value proposition. Now taking a look at the actual tool. So here's the interface, very simple interface. You get to pick whether you want to only find emails, uh, only find phone numbers or find both phone numbers and emails. And when we click on this option here, uh, you can see that we can upload a CSV or an Excel file, which uh, will contain, uh, it needs to contain a column with the person's first name, last name, and um, a, a column for the company domain. Uh, you can also do it manually here. So you can, you can just type the person's first name, last name, and company domain, uh, add as many as you want here, uh, and it will do the enrichment for you. And then the last option is you can use the Chrome extension they offer to scrape a list of contacts from Sales Navigator and enrich those contacts. Uh, they also have, um, they allow you to integrate with uh, an existing automation flow you might have in Zapier or it could be anywhere actually because they have an API. Uh, so that's also a nice option there. But I'm now going to try it out and see uh, what results I can get. So I'm going to upload a CSV I have here with some um, some contacts that I want to get the emails of. Uh, and yeah. So here we get to map the data points that uh, Full and Rich needs with the columns on the spreadsheet uh, that contain that information. So we have first name, last name, company domain, mine is called website. Uh, company name, company name for emails, okay. Um, and then the LinkedIn profile URL. So yeah, okay, I have everything there. And I'm now going to uh, click continue. Continue. These are the people I want to enrich, enrich emails. And that will initiate the process, okay. All right, so it says here that this will take 10 to 35 minutes. I'm going to pause the video and come back once it's done. All right, so we have some results. So out of the 24 contacts that I uploaded, it managed to find emails for 23 of those. So that's a 96% success rate, which is great to see. Now, going through the list here, I can hover over the status field to see uh, the process that it took to get to the email. So you see here that it had to search through three different providers until it found an email. Uh, for this one, it had to search through uh, seven different providers until it found an email. So it's clear that it's going through this like waterfall enrichment process uh, until it finds, um, it finds the, the email of the contact. Um, now, something I noticed here is that not every email is actually uh, valid and verified. The ones that have two ticks next to them are the ones that are verified and sa safe to send. So they tell you that these have uh, an estimated bounce rate of 1%. Therefore, they're, uh, if, if you send a, an email to this address, it's very likely that it will, um, it will land in the inbox. Um, the ones that have one tick next to them are verified, but they're catch-all addresses. So they have a higher... Uh, estimated bounce rate. They're a little bit more risky to reach out to. 
Uh, and then the ones with a question mark next to them, they have unknown deliverability. So they're not verified addresses. Therefore, uh, the estimated bounce rate is quite high. But I like the fact that they're being honest about the, the quality of the emails. Now, which ones of these you decide to reach out to, that totally depends on your outreach strategy and how much risk you're willing to take in terms of uh, deliverability. Now, something to consider in terms of pricing is that you get charged per email it finds and not just for the ones that are uh, verified and safe to send. So you see here that it found 23 emails and I got charged 23 credits. Uh, even though the ones that are verified and safe to send are only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them, right? So um, this means that it can be a little bit more on the expensive end when it comes to contact enrichment tools. Uh, but of course, you get the benefit of the waterfall enrichment, uh, which means that you don't have to um, have a subscription with multiple vendors in order to, in order to be able to uh, increase the chances of finding as many emails as possible. So who would I recommend this tool for? I would say that if you want to do outreach to a carefully vetted list of companies, for example, let's say you're reaching out to uh, the latest SaaS companies that have received funding, uh, and you want to ensure that you have the highest chance of finding the email of the person you're reaching out to, then this tool makes sense because waterfall enrichment will um, give you the highest chance possible for finding someone's email. So I would say that it's more for established sales teams that know their ideal customer profile quite well. So yeah, that's my honest first review of Full and Rich. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you wanna sign up for a free trial and test it out yourself. And after you do so, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm curious to get your thoughts. With that said, I'll see you on the next one.